All right, Fishaholics, so welcome back to another episode, or welcome to the channel if you're a first time viewer. And my name is Rich, and what we've got going on for this fishing mission is I just launched the kayak, and we're heading upriver right now to an area where I've actually successfully been able to catch some bonefish locally. And I've caught two there now, uh, but I caught them before they recently opened up the Okeechobee locks to dump into the St. Lucie River. So I'm intrigued to see if we could still catch some bonefish. And right now it's the end of the incoming tide. So this water should be, oh yeah, pretty salty. And then we'll probably fish the beginning of the outgoing tide. And I have some live bait on board that are, you know, I live shrimp that are chilling in my angle live bait pro cooler there. And then I also have a bunch of little voodoo shrimp lures that should work. And I've got 15 and 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. So you wanna use the, the light stuff to get those uh, finicky bonefish to eat. And this was really a last second fishing mission that I kind of just put together while running some errands before heading to the Keys, where I'm actually gonna be fishing with uh, A-Ben's Aaron for uh, a couple days. And I'm also gonna do a few days on my own in the kayak. But anyway, let's see if we can get into some action. Stay tuned, let's catch them. Let's grab our first bait. Oh, a few of them are starting to die, but I would say I have a good amount of in, in here that are still happily alive. Let's try this little guy to start first. I got this little size one circle hook and I'm just gonna lightly hook them right through the horn and I have a little split shot on my 12 pound leader so that should be good <clears throat> I'm in three and a half feet of water right now I'm gonna move out to like seven or where like it starts to drop off and then I'm just gonna start casting and drifting him along this area here. All right, we're starting to drop off just a little bit. Whew. It's Saturday, so we got a lot of boat traffic. And that's why it's a little choppy right now. So we are probably like 20 minutes into fishing with the live shrimp and surprisingly I haven't even had a single bite. I thought we'd also be getting hit by snappers and catfish which I don't mind if we're not getting hit by them but it's just kind of surprising. You know I wonder if we're going to get the bonefish and the tide just about started to go out which could be good or it could be really bad because all of that discharge water is then gonna start working its way down here more. Check this out guys, here's the, the color change already starting to hit us. Right there, the water's starting to get a little darker. Here's that more greener-ish ocean water. And this darker water is going to slowly start, start to turn more brown as this tide starts to push out more. Whoa. Whoa. Something just ate the shrimp as I was reeling it in. What do we got here? I'm pretty sure it's not a bonefish. It feels more like a jack or who knows? Maybe it could be a permit or a pompano.
Whoa, he's ripping. I was cranking this in too, and this fish came up and nailed it. It's definitely something interesting. Oh, it is a bonefish! Woohoo! We got one on the live shrimp. I can't believe this fish hit it while I was like reeling it in, like, and it was it was off the bottom. It was like right below the surface, and he must have chased it up and just nailed it. Woo! One bone for the day. Look at that beautiful little fish. Perfect hook set too. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, I just love catching these fish. They are just so fast and they go so hard. I'm ripping some awesome drag, like always. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get another one. We're catching the bonefish now, so when I go to the Keys, I don't have to try and get them. You know, I, I can focus on trying to catch permit or grouper, snook and tarpon. that was my first bonefish on bait or live shrimp I've caught all my other bonefish just on these little uh, voodoo shrimp lures well it's cool we got one to eat especially on the outgoing tide as the dirtier water is flowing through you know maybe there's more shrimp that are floating out with uh, the water that has more stuff in it. Oh, another one. Fish on. No freaking way. Could this be another bonefish? It kind of feels like it, but he hasn't made a rip and run yet. He's going to though, if it is one. No, maybe it's a catfish. Oh no, right there. That was kind of bonefish-ish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, now he's turning into a bonefish. Or could it be a pompano? Oh, another bonefish. Right after number one. <laughs> There must be a school coming by right now with the outgoing tide. Whoa, he jumped over the net. Got him. This, is, this one is similar in size to that first one, but he didn't fight nearly as hard. That first one really ripped a lot of drag so cool and beautiful look at that see ya all right let's get another bait on i wonder how long this bite is gonna last There we go. Oh, I just got eight again. There he is. 
Oh, that might be another bone fish. That was that was only like five minutes. Ah, oh, it's a catfish. Dang it. I knew we were gonna encounter at least a couple of these today. Now you gotta be careful with these catfish. I would recommend using a D hooker because of their their barbels here. But D hookers with tw this lighter line, like 12 pound, 10 pound test, don't really work because generally you might break the line while you're trying to D hook them. All right, a new delicious and succulent shrimp going out and hopefully no more catfish come through but that's probably too much to ask uh, it would be cool to maybe encounter some decent mangrove or juvenile mutton snappers which i've caught here before uh, also maybe uh, some juvenile permit oh just got a bite oh he went away maybe he'll come back for it oh i got a fish here he was he was swimming at me Oh, another catfish. At least we got the bonefish first. So, like, my day is already made. So, I'm okay with messing around with some of these cats. And it's, it's all tidal, you know. So, maybe in 10, 15 minutes, the cats that are swimming through now could be further down river and out of this area and maybe some more bonefish will come through. Oh, we have an escapee. No, this shrimp might get away. Oh, come on, man. I think he, no, 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 I got him. Uh, nope. Oh, he got away. I'll give it to him. He's going to be a trophy shrimp one day. That is one fast pontoon boat. Look at that thing go. It's been like 20 more minutes and no other bites. So we got to wait for the next batch of fish to swim through. So I'm noticing the catfish may have frayed up my leader a little bit. Maybe that's why I'm not getting any bites because it it kind of looks like whitish now. So the bonefish might be able to see the line. So let's cut it back and retie. <clears throat> oh, I think I just got eight. No. Well, I missed that one. Whatever it was. It felt pretty good too. Oh, 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 I'm getting some bites. That kind of feels like a bonefish. There he is. Could it be a bone? Look at him go. <laughs> nice. This fish has some good weight to it. Please don't be a catfish again. Please, 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 don't be a cat. This fish is fighting differently than a catfish or a bonefish. It's got a little more weight to it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at him go, look at him go. He saw the kayak, and he doesn't like it. Oh no, he does not like it. There he goes. 
this is a heavy fish for this light of tackle. It's gonna be something interesting. Oh no. Or just another big catfish. They know how to pull, although the, you know, they're not really sought after. They've got enough of like a wide head and body to use against me in that current. Look at all this slime that comes off these fish. And right now I can't grab the hook because <laughs> there's too much slime on the hook. So it just keeps slipping off the pliers. Fatty. Uh, it might be too much to ask for one or two more bonefish. That little bite is over. Pretty nice boat. There he is. That might be a bone. Please be another bonefish. That first run gave me some hope. Oh, oh yeah, that's got to be a bone. Oh yeah, a little bit smaller one. This guy is going crazy. Another perfect hook set on this third bonefish. So cool. You know what, it is really hard to even express how stoked I am right now to get on this really cool uh, light tackle bonefish bite uh, locally here because I would say I've probably targeted bonefish say down in the Keys maybe like 14 times um, throughout the last like two or three years. And a lot of those days, I either saw a bonefish and didn't catch them, or didn't see a single bonefish and caught none. And only like, I think three times did I go down there, I filmed and I caught one bonefish and a whole day of fishing trying to catch them. And I have those videos up on my channel, which I'll link down in the description or somewhere on the screen. But it was such a grind and a lot of work for one of basically what we've already caught three of today those three little bonefish like they weren't anything big you know one day hopefully i'll go to like the bahamas and, and have a shot at you know some really big bonefish or hawaii that would be super cool but i you know i do the best that i can and hands down this is the the best bonefish day that i've ever had oh there he is got him <laughs> that might be another bone. Oh yeah, that's definitely a bone. Oh yeah, that's got to be another bone.
or maybe a pompano. It could be a pompano. Oh, or a baby permit. Please be a permit. That would be so epic. Oh man. Oh, it is another bone actually. And I think it's a little bit bigger one. Bone number four. Oh, right into the net. Okay. Let's pop the hook out of this beautiful fish. There she goes. Sweet. Bonefish number four, baby. All right, let's check the time. It's 4.42 PM. And I actually think whether we get a fifth bonefish or not, in like the next 30 minutes, I might tie it up and start heading back to the launch because I want to fish all day tomorrow in the Keys and actually for like the next week. So I got to get off the water and still do some grocery shopping and packing for uh, the trip. Oh, there he is. I just got eight. And it felt like a bonefish. Come on, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. There he is. Got him. <laughs> he just realized he's hooked. There he is. Oh! <laughs> so cool. Now, for those of you wondering, bonefish are not really uh, a good eating fish. They're, they're very bony, hence the name. And that's why they're really just an awesome sport fish to come out here and have some fun and uh, catch and release them. One day, hopefully, I'll get some big ones in this net here. This might be number six right here. Jeez, he is ripping at me. There he is. A real tiny one. I think I'm just gonna catch one more fish and then we're gonna start working back. 
Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. This might be another bone. Oh yeah, a really small one. The smallest of the day probably. Oh gosh, he went through a hole in the net. That's how small he is. Yesterday, we were getting some big jacks just a little bit further up river and the, and the mullets we were using were like the size of this little bonefish. Sweet. Seven bonefish today. Seven. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, today was a uh, great example that you don't have to go to the Keys to catch bonefish and you can fish here in Stewart or go to Fort Pierce, Jupiter, or Lauderdale, Miami, as, as long as you put the time in and you possibly have the right lure or the, or the right bait and uh, you'll have a good shot at catching them. And I'm really happy that I'm actually able to get on them this early in the season because uh, from the research that I've done, uh, I've heard that uh, the better time to, to get to get on them he, in here in this area, which I have, is uh, in like the uh, sp or like late spring, summer, and uh, early fall. Uh, but when I've targeted them, you know, I, I kind of didn't really know exactly where to go yet, and I only got one. Or actually, I put my wife on one, and she caught a, a juvenile permit. Uh, but just this winter, I discovered this spot to be pretty productive. So. I'm gonna have to come back and hit this spot uh, once we get into the springtime and summer and uh, early fall because maybe then it'll be really lights out action and maybe they'll be a little bit bigger. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button down below, and hopefully I will see you all in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.